Across America tonight, it is Friday Night Lights, of course. Millions of high school football teams taking the field. But in one American town, the entire team sidelined because of injuries on the field, including concussions. ABC's Ryan Smith on the growing concern coast to coast over head injuries. Tonight, hard hits like these, sacking an entire high school football program for the year for safety's sake. Michigan's Caro High School coaches, administrators, even players voting to end the team season after losing many players to injuries, including concussions. Their fear, the younger players now forced to step up would be put in harm's way. It's a courageous decision that has to be made to, from the end that we don't want somebody getting hurt. An estimated 1.1 million boys play high school football in the U.S. Kids just like this across the country. And concussions, a growing problem. This past month alone, three high school players dying after playing on the field. On the college level, Michigan football coach Brady Hoke under fire after keeping wobbly sophomore quarterback Shane Morris in the game after this hit. Oh, sparking school protests and calls for his job. This in a season that's seen these two major college quarterbacks announce they're leaving football, worried about the effects of multiple concussions. How dangerous are big hits to high school football players? They're quite dangerous, and we have to look at these hits over time. And they can add up, and that we get concerned about them. David, that school superintendent in Michigan saying the kids need to have a future beyond football. Still, the team plans to play next season. All right, Ryan Smith with us tonight. Ryan, thank you.